Well, good afternoon and thanks for watching. I'm Jay Cunningham. A Louisiana judge has blocked enforcement of a statewide abortion ban designed to automatically go into effect when Roe versus Wade fell on Friday. It comes after a Shreveport abortion clinic filed a lawsuit today disputing the state's ability to stop abortions. The lawsuit claims parts of the trigger law are too vague, making it impossible to tell when they're in effect and what exceptions are allowed. The state's three abortion clinics for now are closed, as Tristan Land reports. This ruling has drawn strong emotional reactions from both sides of the fence and from millions of parents to be across the country. All three abortion clinics, including the one here in New Orleans, are closed, shuttered immediately Friday morning when the Supreme Court overturned the decision on Roe versus Wade. About half of the states here in the U.S. are expected to ban abortions, and the ruling has already triggered laws in more than a dozen states, including Louisiana, that made abortion illegal immediately after the decision was announced. Pro-life groups like Louisiana Right to Life celebrated the decision and called for increased support for mothers. As a feminist, I call upon Louisianians to step up and to answer the call to bolster holistic help to women and rally in their time, in their talent, in their treasure, in support of our incredible pregnancy centers, adoption agencies, and abundance of private and social services. Others oppose the high court's ruling and fear that some mothers-to-be will have nowhere to go. I knew what they were going to do, but somehow you hold out that little tiny, tiny hope that maybe it won't be as bad. Maybe there'll be some little something there that a woman can work with, a person can work with who wants to have an abortion. The announcement was not a surprise after a draft of the decision leaked in May, but is still a monumental reversal of decades of precedent by the highly conservative court. In Uptown, Tristan Land, Eyewitness News.